goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Cut her a ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taking over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, and that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. Hang on. Behind you.
this easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask them if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Schizo's rifle and keep them off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. See the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Got it. <laughs> on my way. All right, I'm setting the first charge. <sighs> Done. All right, I'm moving on to the next one. Nice job, boss man. Keep going. Ah. Kind of busy here. You got him? Rippers up here. That wasn't so hard. Kind of busy here. You got him? I got him. Okay, just... 
first. Get it done. Fourth charge. already <laughs> well that never gets old does it what's up let's go find Jesse here job back there. Yeah? Man, I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Alright, looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came in. Washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Ah, oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Deke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. Falling back! 
These guys seem more jacked up than usual. Oh yeah. They must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. No, 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 listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. 
Bruce, so there's no one left. Shit. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Day two. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, uh, uh, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else Ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Hey, Deacon. Buzz. I'll fill her up. Mike's looking pretty busted. Who the hell? 
sells my ratchet wrench. Never find anything. I know. Sure. All right. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Deke. Long time no see. Hey, I heard. You know? I mean, what you did for us. How you... The Rippers. All of them. I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had... We had to... <laughs> look, they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I... I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I know. Ready to do some streaming? Dude, you there? Mr. D. Yeah, yeah. Booze Man, what's up? Just, just wanted to say thanks for the dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me, you know? Wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down. Hey. <laughs> yeah, sure it followed you. Hey, uh, I named him Jack. <laughs> Yeah, Jack would have loved that. Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. <laughs> all right, easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, Deke, I gotta go. Boozer out. You're welcome. You got some bounties. That's good. It's real good. That's bounties mean more than one. That's all I got for now. What can I get for you? How's it going, Zanny? I got it. Stay safe out there.
don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So, no, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but it's good advice. Hey, okay, I'll see if I can make time peeking out. Oh, hey, me again. I know, I know, it's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know, what are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. <laughs> really bad shit. And Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack, uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Well, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because, um, uh, because I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse, I had to. I mean, guy was a goddamn psychopath. But uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we we blew him up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp. We drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I'll I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Boozer. Booze, man. You're not gonna believe this shit. Hey, what's wrong? Iron Mike. Just let him go. I let who go? Schizo. He just... Let him go. He just let him ride out of here without a goddamn care in the world. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, Deke. I heard you, but... Jesse, all those rippers... Maybe... I know maybe I've seen enough killing, you know? Like I said, being a farmer ain't so bad. Deep. Yeah, okay, Boobies, man, you're the second one to tell me that. I gotta go digging out. Truth shall hey. set you free. Hey, open up! Let me tell you, Steve. before this shit, 
that this drifter we comes in? And we were dumb. Kind of freak or ears. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds, keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath. And hold it in. You're a free man. No one can take that from you again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, I hope I'm feeling the pain. Who fucking isn't? Well, fucking Jesse Carlos Williamson. Rest in peace. What do you want? Deke, uh, I got a job for you. <laughs> One only you can handle. What do you got? You remember the other day I took you by the dig site? Food came up missing? Yeah, Wheeler was on watch. He was doing more than watching. He was robbing us blind. He and a few men took off to a camp north of Patchen's Lake. You know the one? Yeah, I know it. Find the bastard and kill him. He's got a pocket watch. Still works. Bring it to me. Wheeler, got it. Get to it. Stop screwing around. Hey, back to work. for you. Hmm. That's interesting. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. Hey, hey. It's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Camp? Where? Where? where, where? Show me. I'll go. I'll go. Go toward Three Finger Jack, find the Salome Hot Springs, talk to Alki Turner. He'll help you out. Oh, I was done for. Holy shit, you know? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop.
useful. John, it's okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Deke. I haven't seen you around much. Yeah, Boozer and I decided... Okay, Deke. You stay safe out in the ship. You hear me? Good to see you, Deacon. You need something? Hey, Alka, just see him what you got. Good choice. Can I get anything else for you? Here. Good as new. Thanks. What else can I do for you? Find me if you need anything else. <laughs> yeah? Tucker. I got him. Nice job. I guess Wheeler's sorry he messed with Ada Tucker now. No, I'm guessing he's not feeling a whole lot of anything. <laughs> I've updated your credits. And you wait and see. 
I'm still gonna find a way to talk you and Boozer into joining us here. Become a part of the family. Yeah, good luck with that. Deacon, how's it going? Hey, Alka, just seeing what you got. Should keep you pretty safe out there. That's a good one. This will do you good out there. Good piece should help out in the shit. Need anything else? Can I get anything else for you? Good choice. Thanks. Why aren't you working? What else can I do for you? Need anything else? Can I get anything else for you? Okay, sure. Sure. Looking for anything in particular? Good choice. Thanks. What else can I do for you? Let me know if you need anything else. you to know that the hot springs appreciates all that you've been doing for us life ain't never gonna be easy again but you're making a difference to a lot of folks
goddamn rippers. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. <laughs>
There's the hatch. Yeah, knew you had one. What do they got here? A map. Yes. What do we got here? How to craft the... Okay, yeah, okay. Hang on. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you so much! I thought I was gonna die in there! Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. I just keep running, stay off the road.
fuel. Yes. Oh, here we go. That's it. off figures here we go green lights green lights are good green lights are all good yes finally all right now let's see what they got there Trick. Open the gate! It's Deacon! Letting him in. Huh. A drifter Deke. brought in more meat. <laughs> How's my favorite bounty hunter? Blair, you are looking fine today. Uh, good choice. Okay. Here you go. Good one. Okay. Hey, Deke. You be careful out there. Got good shit in stock today. Hey, Buzz. You can never go wrong with a tuna. Stop by any time. Hey, Ricky. What's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here when they were hit by a group of drifters. They tracked them back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he can, if he can use a gun. Then what the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke. Sorry. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? All right. Hey! Hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah. It's private property. Now turn around. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just going to wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here see to pick up... Did you not see that sign? 
Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? Oh, no, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Here we no. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... Probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. Chief's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later.
Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she okay, was doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. about the freakers sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? Hell, I don't know. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found is, is she? Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Deep, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out.